Hey guys, so I now got uh, the BlackBerry Bridge 2.0 application installed, which is basically 2.0.0.0.25. And if I got that correct, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, so basically, it's I got it from the App World, and to get the leaked version of any app, basically go into App World, and hit the All button, and hit R S T, okay, and that's basically Alt Reset, and just basically refreshes everything inside of the inside of the App World, so you get like all the updated versions of everything. Now I'm gonna show you what this version holds. I don't know if you guys can see this stuff for the new leaked version. So basically, what it's gonna have, this is the new layout. It's gonna have use the control, remote control, add a new tablet, etc. So on the remote control now, what basically happens is you're connected, and this is a non non touch screen device. This is a 9700. For I don't have my 9900 with me, so the screen broke. Long story, doesn't matter. You could use this, so basically you could use this uh, this new feature with the trackball. So if you guys could see on my BlackBerry Playbook, this isn't any kind of black magic or anything guys. So look at my hand, I'm gonna go down, gonna go up, gonna go left, gonna go right, see? Works. Now another cool feature that this brings is you could go to BlackBerry App Roll and select on the bridge files. Now with the bridge files, oh by the way, I don't know if I, could, I showed you guys this, but you could basically type from your smartphone. If you guys will believe me, look at my hand. I shouldn't be typing this on my phone, but... Oh, wait, let me just hold this closer. If I hit enter, it works right there. So I'm gonna just use this to demo how this works. So I'll just go to. No, I don't want to go to me the device. Go to media card. Uh, BlackBerry. Go to documents. Just get look at this map. How to get around Ottawa. So I'm gonna open this up. One of the really cool features I'm gonna show you guys is basically so you can scroll down. I don't know if you guys can see that. To get down on a touch, on a non touch screen device, you just hold on a button and just slide it. It usually works. Okay, so press, hold it down. Now to get to the next page, you guys hit next. Just press any button on the sides of the pages and it turns a page or now for presenters professors all you guys hit the blackberry button scroll down to presenter mode and you get next or previous or you use your volume keys this is a really cool feature i love i don't have a pdf file on me this is i don't think this is a pdf so another cool thing that you could do is use a keyboard, which is basically all that stuff. And you can switch from applications, left click, middle click, right click, status bar, like that, uh, app menu, uh, next app, it bounces it, previous app to go back to here. One of the key features that I love is that you could basically play everything from your from your smartphone on your tablet now. I don't know about you guys, but that's a pretty big leap. Uh, could have had some more stuff, but it works pretty nice. I'll show you guys. Uh, let's go to email. Exit here. Um, see if I can show you guys how to type on an email, which is pretty cool. So, let's say I want to compose a new email, right? I should have been using my phone for that. 
Okay, so let's put an email as. Uh, this is really difficult. Uh, D A N. Say to Dan. I don't have a contact name, Dan. So. You guys can see this. By Ling Gual. Hit enter, and then you can go to the next contact automatically. And now you can just type here. So if you want anything. So I'm just going to press random buttons and see what happens, okay? Space, whatever. Space. Oh, you could also insert like little symbols as well. And there we go. So, the Blackberry Playbook, pretty good features. I'm starting to love this device even more. God alone knows what's coming for OS 2. So I'm just going to discard this. Um, I'm just going to swipe here. Um, so basically there's a new icons list. So let's see what happens tomorrow. You, one of the key features that this is good for is when you're using it on connected to your TV and whatnot or you're playing a game and you want to like flip to something or change the channel on your playbook you just do it right here if you're extremely lazy. I doubt I have any songs on my playbook but I'll check. Yeah, no songs. I wiped my device so anyway, good luck guys. Hope this video is pretty informative to you guys. See you guys around. Don't forget to like the video.